coming to you from Farmer Dave's Kitchen here in Drake, Massachusetts. I'm Stacy. I'm Denise. And we're here to help you prepare your share. We are showing a technique today that you'll be able to use throughout the seasons with a variety of your CSA veggies, and it gives you some pretty quick gratification. Refrigerator pickles and quickles. I'm so excited. You've been looking forward to this yes, one all I have. this time. <laughs> Okay, so what's the difference, you ask, between a refrigerator pickle and a quickle? I think it's all in the prep. Quickles use veggies that are cut smaller and thinner and are ready in the pickle as soon as 30 to 60 minutes after you make them. Mm -hmm. So technically, you could make them before you start prepping dinner and then you'd have a little bit of pickles on the side with dinner. Okay. These veggies will have a little bit of tooth still left to them in that short amount of time, but they'll have that wonderful briny mm. flavor to them. Sounds good. Two great ones to do the quick pickle with, or the quickle, is pickled red onion and radish. These are also fantastic as toppers to sandwiches, burgers, and tacos. Mm, sounds so good. Okay, so Stacey's gonna go ahead and slice up an onion for us here. So we're gonna cut it in half. Which peel, I've done. Yes. Peel, then slice into very thin half moons, which is what she's doing now. We're gonna end up separating these pieces into a bowl. And then for the brine, the ratio for the brine mixture is usually a two to one, water to vinegar. Now, for this one, we're using the apple cider vinegar. Correct. Okay. I usually go a little heavier on the vinegar too, okay. so you can kind of adjust it to your taste on that. I just, I like a little bit more of the twang, so yeah. that's what I call it, the twang. The twang, sounds good to me. Okay, so we've already measured this out. Um, so what we're gonna do is, or actually how we did this was in a small saucepan, we heated up one cup of water to one half to three quarter cups of vinegar until hot. We added the teaspoon of salt, a tablespoon of sugar, a heaping teaspoon of our pickling spice, mm -hmm. and mix this well. So this is what we have. I have pickling salt here. Now the di you don't have to go out and buy yourself pickling salt. You can use your kosher salt, you can use your table salt, whatever you want to okay. use. I just have it because I do a lot of pickling, and the difference with it is it's just really fine. Okay. And I don't know if you can see that. It's really, it oh, yeah. reminds me almost of confectionery sugar. I, I was just gonna say that. Um, and this just dissolves quicker okay. in the hot brine. Which is, is the reason does. we're heating it up in the first place is simply to melt your salt and your sugar. So we have that in there. I'm okay. gonna add a smidge of sugar. I don't make these super sweet, you can. Mm -hmm. And you can also use honey if you wanted to. Sure. We're just gonna use sugar since we're heating this up. Okay, that sounds good. And then, this is your pickling spice. This is a one that's already ready in the store. Mm -hmm. yep. You can store completely up. mix your own. Yes, you can. I mean, you, you're just gonna go and get all these different mustard seed, coriander seed, black peppercorns. Mm -hmm. This has some bay leaf in it. It's got some juniper berries in it. And I think it also has, those are dried chilies. Some dried chilies. So it's got a good amount. Oh yeah. So I'm gonna add tablespoon of this right That's in the pan. That's going right into the pot. Okay. Beautiful. And then this is getting heated up. Excellent. So as soon as that comes to a simmer, right. then we're gonna turn it on and we're just gonna turn it off, I mean, and okay. we're just gonna let it stew like you would a tea bag almost okay. and that flavor. Sounds good. Okay. Sounds good. Magic of television. Yes, we have one prepared. We have one prepared. <laughs> so we're just going to pour. And this is sliced radishes. We already have these all done. Delicious. I, these are two of my favorites for pickling. Well, they already have the beautiful color. So this is, and you just want enough to barely, you don't want to submerge it necessarily, okay. but um, just bring it right up to the edges. And you use a heat proof bowl with this, obviously, because th this is hot. Mm. Well, it's not really hot, it's warm. Yeah. We, um, we let it cool down a bit. Because again, Before. the temperature is strictly to melt the salt and your sugar. Correct. And get that all combined together. Correct. Okay. So then we need this a little bit of a stir. And obviously we've used the same recipe for both the onions and for the radishes. There we go. And you can already tell the radishes are turning yeah. the brine mixture. Yeah, the color is starting to The bleed. color. And this one yes, is going to turn. It's just, it's just turning. starting it's just to just turn turning. a That's little purple. So, neat. so it winds up being really pretty. 
The nice thing about pickling radishes in onion too is they have a very sharp flavor and some people absolutely love that. Yeah. Um, some people do not. I'm not a fan of raw onion. Mm -hmm. I do love pickled onion though. It softens it, it takes the edges off it. Um, these are great on sandwiches, it, um, tacos. Tacos. Mm -hmm. Love this stuff on tacos. Pickled vegetables on tacos are what won me over to the pickle side. <laughs> Prior to this, I was cucumber pickle girl, and that's about sure. it. Sure. So this the totally pickling all these different vegetables with a quick pickle is just absolutely amazing. So try and make some of these and try on your sandwiches. Excellent. It's really beautiful. Now on to refrigerator pickles. Here is what you will need. A variety of jars with lids that have been washed well in hot, soapy water. We have mason jars here because well, we have a lot of mason jars around a here. A lot of mason jars. <laughs> We're not processing them in a water bath canner, but you'll be filling them with warm brine, so make sure that they are heat resistant jars. Previously used canning jar lids can be used again for this purpose of making refrigerator pickles because they're not going to go through the water bath canner again. Mm. This is a great reuse, and what I am speaking of, this is your rim, this is the lid. This, if you water bath can, so the pickles are shelf mm -hmm. stable, you do not use these again for water bath canning, but you can use these again anytime for refrigerator pickling right. or anything like that. So that's a really stay great reuse, repurpose. It's a great reuse. Love that, okay, that sounds good. So next are the veggies. These have been scrubbed, peeled if needed, cut, um, and we've actually got all of them presented here. So we have carrots cut into small matchsticks or slices. Mm -hmm. um, these are dense, so having them cut a little bit thinner is really going to allow them um, to absorb and for them to permeate, or the brine, I should say, to permeate um, so that they actually pickle. Um, radish slices, which we've done here. These are our watermelon radishes. These mm -hmm. are so beautiful. Um, you could grate this also. Mm -hmm. um, cucumbers, and with the cucumbers, you'll note we did leave some of the skin on just because of visual reasons. It just looks awfully pretty in the container, in your jar. You could also do onions. Yes. We didn't cut up any more onions because we've cried enough today, <laughs> but you could also do onions. And the other thing that we didn't mention are the beets. Yes. They're so pretty when they're pickled. Beautiful. So we have one little golden beet left because we've already pickled some of them. <laughs> and then we have some red beets left. Those look great. Now, the other part of the equation is the vinegar. Mm -hmm. I love to use apple cider vinegar, but this is refrigerator pickling, so you could pretty much use any vinegar you wanted. Okay. The vinegar, if you're actually canning, you want to make sure it's 5%. Acidity. And it'll say right and on the container. It'll say right on the container. Okay. Um, we're, it's not going to be shelf stable, so you could use whatever vinegar you have. And I, I kind of thought they were all the same percentages. Right. And then you and I started reading all the labels. Yeah. And they were different percentages. They are different. So I thought that was pretty, pretty fascinating. Learning actually. moment. Yeah, learning moment. <laughs> then pickling spice. It's what we have right here. Mm -hmm. This is one that is already available in the store. Right. Um, it's got all the mixture in it. You can totally make your own. Start out with this, make it easy for yourself, yeah. and start adding and subtracting some different ingredients. This is pretty neutral tasting. Mm -hmm. If you want it a little spicier, you can add some sliced chilies to mm, the jar. That sounds Or nice. you could turn around and just do red pepper flake. Also, honey or sugar. When I'm making refrigerator pickles, I actually, I really like the honey. Um, I just put it in the bottom because we're going to be adding the hot brine to this, so right. that is going to wind up melting the honey anyway. Right. And then you're just going to shake it around, and when it finally comes to room temperature, it should be all mixed in mixed really together. well. Mixed together. That's so. great. Nice. So where this is a more neutral pickling mix. If we were to do a bread and butter. Bread and butter pickle. Um, was it turmeric? Um, it's the mustard seed. Mustard adding seed. Adding a lot more mustard seed. Okay. And you can add a little bit of turmeric and that turns it that yellow color. That's really neat. And then you just want to make it a little sweeter so you could add either the sugar or the honey. I find Maybe I like the honey in them so I add a little bit more honey. I'm feeling a lot of experimenting coming on here. Yeah, exactly. All right, so this is your base recipe, mm -hmm. essentially what we have here. So it's a really good starting point if you've never done this before, like me. Um, so to start, saucepan to make your brine in. You need a ladle, funnel is very helpful for filling the jars. Um, you can use any funnel that you happen to have. Um, this particular one is actually made for canning, and then your ladle, this is actually made for canning as well. It yeah, has the really deep it really well. deep so it doesn't wind up going all over the place all when you're filling it. Because <laughs> <laughs> the brine will be warm, so you know. Yes, exactly. So first step's gonna be to actually make the brine. So the ratio is the same, but the amount will change depending on how many jars you're making. Mm -hmm. um, if you run out, 
uh, making another batch is very easy. So you're not in a pickle. It's not like, oh. You knew was I was waiting to bad. use that one. <laughs> Go My ahead. My goodness. <laughs> so you can, it's not as hard as with the water bath canning because you're kind of on a time schedule with that. Right. This we're not really on a time schedule for. So if you go to fill all your jars and then you run out, you know what, just turn around and put it. All you're heating up really is the vinegar, the water, yeah. and then the salt. And yep. the salt is just gonna dissolve in the warm mixture. Right. So you're bringing it up to a simmer. Once it simmers, turn the heat off. You're just gonna let it come down to probably yeah. warm and then that way you don't burn yourself well, either. Well, that too. So Very ours helpful. just came up to a simmer here and I'm Excellent. gonna add the salt. So we have that one. Right, so again, just and keep the ratio one. similar, the water to the vinegar. Um, Stacy likes to use a 50-50 or maybe slightly heavier with the vinegar depending on your veggies, of course. You want it spicier, add chilies. You want it sweeter, up your honey. Um, maybe garlic and dill. So just mm -hmm. add any of those ingredients. But we figure we just give you like a base to start with. So here we have 10 cups mm -hmm. is what we measured out. And I already put the salt in. Okay. And you know what? I use the pickling salt, so this is really... Oh, yeah. It's totally dissolved It's perfectly now. dissolved. It's totally dissolved at this point. All right. So now we're gonna jump in, and this is the fun part. We're gonna fill the jars. Okay, you know here we go. I'm gonna put this right here. Yeah. While we fill the jars, and then I'll bring it back over and we'll put the brine in. Excellent. So do you wanna start with the pickling spice? Yes. So we're gonna do about a tablespoon, or no, a teaspoon, excuse me, of pickling spice per jar. Okay. Now, Excellent. I cut the carrots a little too long, so we're gonna test them. <laughs> little right. shorter on that. We need a little shorter on no the carrots. No big deal. You're all set. Okay. So then we need the um, I sugar. Think I'm gonna do sugar for two and honey for two. So I'm just using a half teaspoon here. All right, that might have been mounded. It's okay, I went a little heavier on the vinegar, remember, okay. so. Okay it probably it will balance. Um, balance it out so it doesn't wind up being super sweet. But again, this is sort of one of those fun things, a little trial and error. Right. You really can't go too wrong with this. Do you wanna do, here, you do a yeah. cucumber. Start working on that. Oh, one thing we didn't mention is we have the scallions here. If you'd like that onion flavor, you can just cut off part of this. I do, I love the idea of sliding and one of those I in. And I just slide one in whole, love right that. down the side. Love that. Another really good use is garlic. Mm. Peel the garlic. Now in jars that are this small, I would probably just do a half a clove. Yeah, these are tiny. Um, if you're doing a bigger jars, then I would put in a whole clove, but I would cut it in half and then put it in on either side because you know visually it just looks yeah. pretty in the jar. All right. I kind of feel like that's about as many of those as I'm gonna get in there. That's good, here, I'll we'll do those. Wow, these are so beautiful. Now, just a note, um, watermelon radishes, when you pickle them, the color is going to bleed. So as vibrant as that pink is in the yeah. middle, it is gonna bleed out into the brine. So when you go to eat them, they may not be as vibrant. Okay. Um, you didn't do anything wrong. It's just what happens with the, just like with the, the uh, pickles. And we made some quick radishes here. You can see the How color fast. on the rind. Yeah. That's only been here five minutes. Right. And that's what it's done. So. Exactly. You haven't done anything wrong. Would you, you like? Get your sticks. Carrots. You can pick carrot the carrots sticks. in. I'll get my hands dirty. And we'll do beets. Now these are the matchsticks, but you can see here that we've also done these in a coin. So that's kind of a fun one. Just a different shape. And it's really cool because a lot of times where maybe kids will not eat the vegetables as raw, yeah. they love pickles. Some kids yeah. just love that sour flavor. Yes. And I've had a friend who made 
the um, coins of the carrots, the okay. slices of the carrots in a honey pickle. So maybe a little bit more honey, so it was a little sweeter. Right. She had that in there. One day she came home from work and she went to have some. The jar was gone <gasps> from the fridge and she's trying to figure out what's going on. Well, when she was cleaning later, she found the jar <laughs> Um, kind of under the couch, closed. Uh -huh. It still had brine in it. Oh boy. But it didn't have any carrots left in it. <laughs> so apparently what happened is her daughter really, really, really loved the uh, carrots. Yeah, I guess. And she had eaten probably about a half a jar of it. And I mean, it's carrots. How can you get upset? The kid you, ate you, carrots. You really can't. Um, but it was just really, really funny that that happened. <laughs> okay, That's so great. this is what we have. These are looking good. Now it's time to fill the brine. Okay. Here it comes. Now about jar breakage, um, I like filling the jars with brine while on a towel, which is why we have this tray right here. Okay. So you wanna grab those mm -hmm. two. I also cover them with a towel and let them come to room temperature slowly before stowing them in the refrigerator. Okay. The jars are not preheated like you would do with water bath canning. They're at room temperature. This is also why the brine, once it boils, we let it sit for a little while so we're not pouring boiling, boiling hot, hot brine mm -hmm. over it. Okay. All right, so you wanna hold, you're gonna trust me, you're gonna hold that and I'm, I'm gonna, gonna trust pour, you, Stacey. I'm gonna pour the brine. It's not quite an apple on my head with an arrow, but it's close. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there we go. Beautifully I done. I promise I won't burn you. It's like you've I done this now. before. This funnel is wonderful. I can't imagine trying to do this And this ladle it. is awesome. Yeah. I absolutely love this ladle. I use this ladle for so many things. Imagine not having to spill on yourself or on the counter. Let me put a little bit yeah, more in that one. Yeah, a tiny bit more in that one, I think. There we go. I may have gotten a little overzealous with the radish in that one. We'll squish it with the lid. And that's the other thing with this. A lot of times when you, um, if you ever read about canning, water bath canning specifically, you wind up hearing about headspace. Yeah. Headspace is just the space between the product and the top of the jar. Mm -hmm. And depending on what you're canning, it makes a difference. Right. Um, this, it doesn't matter. We're coming almost all the way up to the top. We want to make sure that all of the um, vegetables are submerged. Okay. And then we're going to put the top on and wind up putting it in the fridge. So let me move this. That sounds good. Let's get the tops on. Tight? Fingertip tight. Fingertip tight. You don't want to um, really tight. rank on this so yep. that you're going to wind up uh, okay. needing help, I needing see. to call the Incredible Hulk. <laughs> so then the other towel, I just go and I put on top of it. That's and then fine. this will turn around and we'll put on the counter and okay. let it just come to room temperature before we put it in the refrigerator. Sounds good. That way we are avoiding any breakage of any kind. Correct. And towels are obviously, heaven forbid it happened, <laughs> this will hopefully make that mess a little bit less messy. Correct. Okay. So let these pickle in your refrigerator a week to 10 days, um, then try them. You can always let them go a little bit longer or if you can't wait, just jump right in there. Just jump right in and try them. <laughs> I mean, they're just not going to be as soft, but raw vegetables aren't soft. Yeah, so curiosity, you might want to just get in there and try one. Um, so these are obviously great as they are. We love topping them and putting them on <clears> salads, <throat> sandwiches, tacos, burgers, um, chicken. You could put these into a salad. Um, honestly, anything that you can possibly think of with these. They're I just delicious. absolutely love um, chopped up pickles in tuna salad. In tuna salad. I just think it totally makes it pop. It is delicious. The pickles are crunchy and tangy. Um, they add a kick to everything. This is also a great inexpensive experiment to get the family involved. Yeah. Let everyone make their own jar of refrigerator pickled vegetables. They could pick their favorite vegetables. Mm -hmm. It's not very expensive. You're talking about some spices, some garlic maybe, your mason jars, vinegar, apple cider vinegar, water, salt. That's it. That's it. So everybody can get involved, make their own jar, put it in the fridge and then like in another week or two weeks everybody can come over and, and try make them. something with them. Yeah. You know it's like a pickle party. Pickle party? Pickle think, party! Pickle parties are going to take over <laughs> the country. You might be onto something. I don't know we'll see. <laughs> try it. Have Happy your own. pickling!